Zahar Zanayev may not be able to speak right now, but he is revealing so much more about how and why he carried out those marathon bombings with his brother. All the communication writing except one word. When asked if he could afford a lawyer, Shahar said no. And the 19-year-old suspect has been formally charged now with using a weapon of mass destruction and malicious destruction of property. And that also, you know, could face the death penalty. No question about it. ABC's Brian Ross is in Boston with exclusive new details on the interrogation. Good morning, Brian. Well, good morning, George and Robin. The 19-year-old suspect has admitted his role in the bombing, speaking with or communicating with that special team of FBI agents who did not have to give him his legal rights. The suspect also revealed, according to authorities, much of the how and the why of the deadly bomb blast. For all the fear and drama that the attacks produced, the younger brother reportedly told agents it was almost entirely done from the internet, homegrown, with no direction from overseas. They used an Al-Qaeda internet description of how to make a pressure cooker bomb. They took a very simple recipe and then targeted a, uh, a, 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 the, the Boston Marathon. The decision to target the marathon came only in the last few weeks, Jahar Zarnayev told agents, according to authorities. According to the criminal complaint against Jahar, seen here at an ATM machine, trying to get cash from the account of a man whose car he stole, he confessed to the bombing, telling the victim, I did that. As to inspiration, authorities tell ABC News Jahar said he and his brother were following the internet preachings of Anwar Al-Awlaki, the American-born jihadist who has been dead now for more than a year and a half. It appears to me that the older brother was particularly influenced by Al-Awlaki. And despite his family ties and trips to Chechnya, it was the older brother's hatred of America that supposedly motivated the attack, his brother reportedly said. And believe that the U.S., including through its wars in Afghanistan and Iraq, were killing uh, Muslims. Hours after the younger brother talked, federal authorities swarmed an area behind a Cambridge rug store looking for more explosives or the place where the bombs might have been built. The FBI also hopes to get additional insight from Tamerlan's wife, seen over the weekend leaving the family apartment. A Rhode Island native, she converted to Islam and changed her name from Catherine to Karima. Her family lawyer said Monday she was shocked to learn of her husband's role and had no idea until the FBI first released those surveillance pictures of him and named him a suspect. In fact, the lawyer says the wife doesn't speak any Russian and didn't really know what was going on. As to the younger brother's claims and statements to the FBI, investigators don't necessarily take at face value all that he has said. He has every reason to try to minimize his own role, and the investigation into possible ties to overseas groups in Russia remains a central focus of the case, George. And Brian, talk about living double lives. We know that the younger brother was out partying uh, on Wednesday night, and now we've learned more about where the older brother, Tamerlan, was the day before the shootout. Exactly. On that Thursday, the day the FBI released his uh, surveillance photo, he was at home taking care of his infant daughter while his wife was at work.